I will never forget what Kathy has done, and I will never let it go. And that was what they wanted. <laughs> Kathy wanted to hurt me. She wanted to hurt me in a way that would always hurt me by going after my brother. And that's what she got. She hurt me on a level where I will always hurt. And because I will always hurt, I will always speak out and tell the world that my family is like this, that my family is this abusive, that they will trample their own family members just to hurt me. <laughs> Kathy thinks she's so funny and so smart and that people will just never believe me. But they will one day, because I'll keep talking about it. I'll keep telling everybody, everybody I meet, everywhere I go. They will know what you did, Kathy. They will know that you're such a manipulative abuser that you visited my brother's grave to fulfill a goal of urinating on it. The world will know one day. Everybody will know the Mackie name. In terms of their abusive behavior. <laughs> Because that's my goal in life now, is to make sure the world knows. To make sure that Kathy and her children and her grandchildren don't get away with what they've done. <laughs> that someday they'll be looked at as what they are. They're abusers, they're drug addicts, they won't get help, and they put down people who do get help. Kathy waits, wants to make me kill myself, and it's not going to happen. She wanted to hurt me. That's why she went after my brother. And she did. She has hurt me. Which is why I can't ever let it go. Y'all want to say, why does this keep coming back? Because it hurts me. Because it's something that was done that will hurt me until the day I die. And it doesn't just go away. If the pain doesn't go away for me, then the story shouldn't go away for the perpetrators. One day people will know my family is abusive. And I will never stop speaking out until that day comes. Ever. My brother deserves to know the truth. He deserves for the world to know the truth about this family. That his own aunt would desecrate his grave just to hurt his sister. Just to cause pain to the family members that are alive. She raised her children to do that. They raised their children to do that. They're an entire clan of manipulative abusers who do not deserve to be allowed to continue abusing in the shadows. They only went after my little brother because he was so weak. He couldn't fight back. And it hurt me. And I hope you enjoy the fact that I'm hurt, Kathy, because it's going to lead to you hearing about this for a long, long time. Until I die and long after. Because I'm not going to just let it go. As long as it hurts me, you'll hear about it. And so will everybody else. They'll know the truth. Because I'm going to tell it again and again and again. Without changing anything. Or embellishing. The truth is the truth. The story is what it is. You visited my brother's grave with the apple juice. You were standing in for your friend. You didn't even bother to visit my mother while she was alive. You waited until she was dead so you could get to my brother's grave and have an excuse that you could say, Well, I was there to visit my dead sister. If you were there to visit your dead sister's grave, you would not have left the apple juice on my brother's grave or made a video laughing about how funny it is. <laughs> then the world will know, Kathy. The only thing I can do is talk. 
And if you think I'm going to stop talking, that's not gonna happen until I die. And even then, all of these videos will remain to remind the world what you have done and what you children and your grandchildren are capable of doing because that's how you raised them. You're an abuser. My parents were abusers. And I won't stop speaking out about the abuse. The physical abuse, the sexual abuse, and now the constant emotional abuse. It just never ends. And the main reason Kathy needs me to hurt so badly is because I spoke out about the abuse. I wrote a book and I tried to be heard. And they need me silenced. They need me silenced. And I won't be. Ever. I won't ever be silent. I won't ever be quiet. I won't ever let it be okay. <laughs>